This video tutorial is about gear terminology which comes under the subject theory of machine. Also we can say that this tutorial is based on the gear tooth nomenclature. Hello friends, I am Sunil Wadokar and I have created this video to explain gear terminology or gear tooth nomenclature. First of all, I will like to request you to subscribe this video channel if you want such more videos. So let's begin. So first we define the gear. A gear or cogwheel is a rotating machine part having cut teeth or cogs which mesh with other tooth part to transmit the torque. It is a wheel with tooth. It is used to transmit power at smaller distances. Two or more gear meshing working in a sequence are called as gear train or a transmission. Now first term in gear terminology that is pinon. Pinon it is a smaller of two mating gears. As you can watch in this diagram the smaller gear is pinon and the larger one we call at it as gear then after that gear gear it is larger of two mating gears then after that rack rack it is type of gear which has infinite pitch circle diameter then after that you can watch the diagram for gear terminology this is the diagram for gear terminology it contains addendum redendum clearance pitch circle face width etc. Here you can see another image which shows the gear terminology. Next point is pitch circle. As you can watch in this image, this is a core showing a pitch circle. Pitch circle. It is an imaginary circle which by pure rolling action would give the same motion as actual gear does. It is theoretical curve along which the gear rolls without slipping on the corresponding pitch curve of the gear for, transmi for transmitting equivalent motion. Then we move to next term that is pitch circle diameter. It is diameter of pitch circle. It represents the size of gear. Then pitch point. Pitch point it is the point of contact of two pitch circles of two different gears. Then we have next term circular pitch. Circular pitch it is the distance along the pitch circle circumference between the corresponding points on the consecutive teeth. If D is diameter of pitch circle and T be the number of teeth, then pitch circle is given by P sub C is equal to pi D by T. Then after that diametral pitch, diametral pitch, this is the ratio of the number of teeth to the pitch diameter. Thus it is reciprocal of the module. Then we move to another important term which comes under the gear tooth nomenclature that is module. Module it is the ratio of pitch circle diameter to the number of teeth. Module is given by M is equal to T by T. Then addendum circle. As you can watch, this is addendum circle in the image of gear to profile. Addendum, it is the circle passing through the tips of the gear teeth. Addendum circle. Then addendum. Addendum is the radial distance between pitch circle and 
अडेंडम सर्कल देन डिडेंडम सर्कल बिलो दिस क्लियरन सर्कल यू कैन वॉच दिस इज अ कॉर शोइंग द डिडेंडम सर्कल डिडेंडम सर्कल इट इज द सर्कल पासिंग थ्रू द रूट ऑफ द टीथ and didendum is the radial distance between root circle and pitch circle then full depth of the teeth full depth is the sum of addendum and didendum then working depth working depth is the sum of addendum of the two gears which are in mesh then flank flank it is the surface of the tooth below the pitch circle you can watch the flank in this image this is the surface which represent the flank then top land you can watch in this image this is top land it is the top surface of gear tooth then clearance clearance is it is addendum minus didendum and base circle base circle it is an imaginary circle about which the tooth involute profile is developed in this image you can watch this curve it is base circle its diameter is little less than the pitch circle diameter then next term we have tooth space it is the space between the adjacent teeth measure along the pitch circle then we have tooth thickness tooth thickness is the thickness of the tooth measured along the pitch circle you can watch in the image this is tooth thickness and this is tooth space then we have backlash backlash it is the difference or it is clearance between the tooth thickness of one gear and the tooth space of the meshing gear measured along the pitch circle then another term we have fillet it is the radius that occurs where the flank of the tooth meets the didendum circle so that's all i have in the gear tooth nomenclature video so thank you friends for watching this video thanks please like share and subscribe to this video channel please like this video and not forget to subscribe if you want more such interesting educational videos